Hello there, everyone. Saturday, August 27th, and we're back live on Twitch for another attempt at the Zenith Daylong Reward Tournament. Just pulled up our results from yesterday, so we ended in 10th place out of almost 1,700 people, won about four bucks and change, 26 master points. And I think this looks a little better. Hopefully this is all readable. So there we are down there. First place, got a bit over 70%. Um, <clears throat> but we're pretty happy about our results. Kind of taking a look at our scores overall, we started with a pretty poor board. And I think it was pointed out to me by a friend that um, I made a very poor choice on this hand despite having what I had considered to be just a complete minimum in general. Um, given my bidding so far, the takeout double, I didn't have great heart support. I had um, <clears throat> I had kind of diamond length in terms of already having promised diamond shortness for my takeout double. Uh, but partner's three heart jump tends to be a five card suit. Partner is going to tend to have some sort of fitting black card for us, either the Club King or the Spade Ace, and therefore Four Hearts looks like it might be odd on, odds on to make. So I think that was a mistake on my part, but regardless, we managed to pull out a pretty strong result overall. <clears throat> Just gonna clean up my mailbox, I'm a bit OCD about that, but let's go ahead and jump into today's Zenith Day Long Reward. Let's see if we can manage to keep up the good performances or maybe even place higher up than just 10th place. Okay, so first hand, we have 17 high card points, two passes to us, just a balanced hand. We're gonna open a no trump. All right. <clears throat> Well, it's a little unfortunate we didn't try something else. We could have ended up playing two hearts, maybe. Or actually, maybe we'd end up in three hearts. But if our partner were to respond one heart to a minor suit opening, then we may have found our fit. Still, this doesn't look too terrible yet. Um, on the King of Clubs lead, I'm definitely going to duck this trick. And I'm going to play the four clubs from hand. We always want to give the signal in our opponent's carding system that says what we want the opponents to do. So the robots are playing standard, count and attitude. Therefore, if we want them to not continue the club suit, we should play a low club. If we want them to continue the club suit, we should play a high club. And this is going to make East Signal look more like what we want. Um, <clears throat> In terms of tricks off the top, we have a club, a heart, a spade, and two diamonds. That's five tricks. It feels like this contract is has potential to make, but it, of course, might not. Um, every suit outside of clubs offers the ability to take an extra trick. So diamonds, we could have the queen doubleton, or maybe we could lead a low diamond towards the jack, hoping that West has the queen, thinking that why would declare a lead low away from the ace-king towards the jack? So we could steal a diamond trick that way. The king, queen of spades could be on side, or maybe the opponents will play spades for us, and then the nine of spades could come into play. But let's see if West continues clubs at tricks one and two. Um, I, I think our plan in general is going to be to lead a heart towards the jack. We only have one dummy entry, so um, we can't really pick up the heart suit if East doesn't have King Doubleton or Queen Doubleton hearts, or if both hard honors are on side. But let's see what the defense ends up doing. So the two of clubs from East looks discouraging, which unfortunately makes me think that West is going to continue clubs, looking at, say, King Queen Jack. 
in the suit. Aha! Uh -huh. We get the King of Spades switch. Now, this is interesting, I mean, in the sense that North and East passed. We opened a no trump with 17, our partner has 5. So the opponents have 18 high curve points combined, and West has more or less already turned up with the King Queen of Clubs and King Queen of Spades for this defense. All right. We get the Queen of Clubs continuation. I think once again I'm going to duck. Maybe we can uh, keep East or isolate the club suit in some way. And okay, I mean, this has worked out quite well for us. It's, it's not surprising to me that West elected to switch away from clubs. I mean, I kind of expect East to have all of the remaining high cards. Um, <clears throat> so, this offers us a couple opportunities. I mean, I think my plan is going to be to lead a heart towards the 10 and then later finesse east on the way back um, for the remaining heart honor. We can use the ace of clubs as an entry to do so. <clears throat> All right, and east promptly returns the hearts for us. So now that we have eight tricks in the bag, we have, did I say eight tricks? We have. Yeah, eight tricks in the bag. We have two more hearts, a spade, a club, and two diamonds to cash, in addition to the two tricks we've already taken. Is it possible an opponent has queen double ten of diamonds? I suppose. I, I think it is possible. So maybe I should just cash out my tricks from the top. You know, our alternative line of leading a diamond towards the jack does not look like it's going to work for us, but I suppose it's possible. Um, still, let's cash all of our tricks other than the Ace of Spades and Ace King of Diamonds. These are basically the only two suits that the opponents don't know about yet. So maybe we'll see East discard a diamond here, hanging on to some spades. That didn't happen. So we just get to cash the Ace of Spades and then try the diamonds, see if we get lucky. We don't. Oh, and West has the Diamond Queen. <laughs> well, that was that was actually an interesting hand. This is not at all what I expected to be happening in the club suit, and I think, I mean, a main reason is the robots don't always get their signals straight on some of these hands. When West leads the King of Clubs, East should really drop the jack under this. And the reason is, East knows his partner has the queen, so he really wants his partner to continue the suit. Um, also, very odd to lead from king-queen doubleton rather than king-queen ten-fifth. But that would have avoided the problem that West ran into, which was West was afraid of leading hearts, potentially giving up a finesse in the heart suit. West was afraid of leading diamonds away from the queen. So after he sort of got in played, he tried to lead spades away from the king-queen, and that did not work out for him. So that gave me an extra trick. Well, I mean, I think a pretty good start to our set. Uh, it's hard to imagine scoring better than plus 120 on these cards. If we did play in hearts, it actually looks like the opponents are always going to get all of their tricks, because for one thing, east would be on lead, but additionally, um, the opponents wouldn't get tangled by leading spades away from the king-queen, I don't think. I think they would just safely lead trumps if they had to. So, good start to the set. On to the next board. East opens a diamond. I will be passing. I don't have anything to say. Vulnerable at match points. No reason to get um, involved. Spade by West, a no trump by East, still no reason to get involved, and three no trump by West. So we're on lead against this auction, and the normal lead is a club, but it is a question as to which club we should lead. 
So for example, if dummy has like jack third of clubs and declare has say ace doubleton, that would give our partner queen doubleton. And if we lead a low club, our partner might put in the queen forcing declares ace, but then the jack of clubs and dummy would represent an extra stopper in the suit. If we lead the 10 of clubs and our partner happens to have some sort of singleton club honor, like the ace or queen, then if the club suit splits 4-2 between the opponent's hands, we might not be able to um, set up the club suit. I think... Hmm... I think I'm more interested in leading the 10 of clubs. Yeah, it, it feels like a pretty natural honor to lead. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try the Ten of Clubs. I, I mean, I think this might be a little close. Um, but... It looks like we'll be okay by leading the Ten. I mean, there are definitely some layouts where we do want to lead small, otherwise we risk the club suit being completely blown up. Um, but let's try the 10 on this deal. Okay. So it looks like the 10 of clubs was an excellent opening lead given what happened on trick one. Our partner is marked with the club queen now, which means um, we can just continue another club. Uh, had we led a low club, Declare would have been able to duck, riding it around to his eight. Our partner would have had to play the queen, and then the ace-jack would represent two tricks. Now, if Declare has a doubleton club, which I think is very likely on this auction, east bit a no trump, then um, Declare can duck the second round of clubs as well, keeping the suit protected. Um, but... Still, I, I think this is the best we can do. I don't really see any reason to switch to a different suit. Maybe Declare goes after the wrong suit to set up. Like, suppose our... Well, I, I just don't think we have enough entries. But hopefully our partner will do something somewhat intelligent after winning the Queen of Clubs. If Declare does put in the Jack. Okay, our partner does win the Queen of Clubs and switches to a heart. That's kind of understandable. Um, <clears throat> so what do we think is going on in this hand? The dummy has come down with 15 high card points. We started with 7, and our partners already showed up with 2. But East's one no trump bid should be something like 11 to 14. Okay, it says 12 to 14, but somewhere in that range. So that leaves our partner with four to six high card points, or somewhere in that general vicinity, and partners already showed up with two of them. The nine of hearts switch does make me think that our partner doesn't have values in the heart suit, which means our partner could either have diamond cards, or our partner could have spade cards, um, or maybe a little of both. Now, East opened a diamond, so, I'm inclined to mostly believe that East is more likely to have diamond values than spade values. But let's just take a look at some possibilities. So we could win the hard ace and either switch to diamonds or spades. I think both of those are reasonable choices. Um... We could duck the Nine of Hearts switch and get maybe a little more information about the hand before we have to make a choice. I think that's also sensible. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to duck the Nine of Hearts. I kind of expect Declare to continue by playing more hearts. <clears throat> but let's see how this goes. So the Clara does get to win the Ten of Hearts. I kind of expect the Queen of Hearts to be played next. Oh, a spade. 
So now it's very possible that our partner has, oh, now it's in fact incredibly likely that our partner has a diamond card. Um, <clears throat> So Declare has two spades, the club ace. What now now I'm a little confused as to what's going on. I mean partners switch to a the nine of hearts. I'm wondering if if North could have the king of hearts. So what's Declare's hand look like? The king queen of spades. We're thinking the king jack of hearts. Which would be nine high card points. The Ace of Diamonds would be... I'm kind of confused as to what Declare is doing. Or what our partner's doing. Well, I think I should exit passively and just let Declare fumble around and figure out what he's supposed to be doing on this hand. So let's see how this goes. Diamond to the ace. Spade over to dummy. Cash a spade, ditching a diamond. Queen of hearts, overtaking. And another heart. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we couldn't have done anything at the end there. Declare always just had um, three hearts, three spades, two diamonds, and a club. Did we lose a trick somewhere in the mix? That that feel oh four spades, four spades, three hearts, and two diamonds and a club. That's just ten tricks, and Declare was always going to get those ten tricks once the clubs were six two and. He correctly worked out to duck the second round of the suit. It's yeah, it's a it's a tricky hand for Declare, I think, um, to get right because it's not often that clubs are going to be six two on these sorts of layouts. Um, but he came up with the right plan and took his 10 tricks. I mean, it's good for us that we didn't give up any tricks in the process. Had I switched to diamonds earlier, Declare would have been able to pick up that suit for extra tricks. Um, so probably an okay result. I don't expect to win a ton of match points on it, but it should be fine. Here we have 15, oh, 16. We have 16 with a five card spade suit. We need to open this no trump. I've said before, the robots don't really play Puppet Stamen, so this is... This could get a little uncomfortable if we have a spade fit and don't find it, but we just need to open these hands in no trump, otherwise it's just way too hard to find out what the right level is to play on these hands, either game or part score, or slam, etc. So. Our partner transfers to hearts, bids three no trump, which we pass, and we get a club lead. <clears throat> well, that looks like a good lead for our side. Now we just need to figure out how best to capitalize on what's going on. So I think I should play small from the dummy. See if East plays the jack. <clears throat> I mean, alternatively, I could do something like play the nine from dummy. I feel like East would be more obligated to cover the nine than if I played the four. And that could potentially set up all of the club suit. I mean, minus the ace. We would have three club tricks then. Uh, I mean, my concern is if I play the 4 and East plays like the 7 and I win the 10 and then later I cash the Queen and West wins the Ace, um, or East wins the Ace, for example, then 
I can't be 100% certain that I should take a finesse on the next round. The robots just have some weird opening leads against human players. I would be very comfortable just finessing the club through west. Um, outside of the club suit, so spades could split or the ten of spades could fall, which means I could have access to four spade tricks. If I get four spades and I get three clubs, I have two hearts and two diamonds bringing my total up to 11 tricks and losing both black aces would be all. So that's kind of what we're hoping for. Additionally, hearts offers the possibility to take extra tricks in the suit. Um, <clears throat> but it's less likely that hearts is going to work out than spades. Still, um, I think I'm pretty content to try and gain an extra entry to the dummy. Am I sure about this? Let me let me think. By putting up the nine of clubs at trick one. I mean, if East doesn't cover the nine of clubs, then I get to lead spades and start going after that suit. So I think I'm going to try that. East does cover with the jack, so that's a good start for us in the club suit. Now we just need to figure out what we're doing about spades and hearts to get some extra potential tricks. Um, I'm gonna try leading the spade queen out of my hand, I think. Hopefully West wouldn't cover with the ace. He does. East plays the four. Okay, that's interesting. It's at least a little bit interesting. And I get a diamond switch, which does give me a diamond trick for free. So I guess I should accept the free finesse and the diamond suit. And I think I should now go about setting up clubs. So let's do that. East wins and returns the seven of spades. Uh-huh. So at this point, I only have one loser. I could guess the heart suit. Well, I can't actually guess the heart suit. Uh, my entries have gotten tangled a little bit. But... East played the four spades on the first round, the seven spades on the next round. Unfortunately, that looks like it just has to be a false card. Um, so I'm wondering if I should actually put in the nine. Hmm. No, I, I think I'm going to take a safe line of play. And so my safe line of play is just going to be to cash two spades. If they split or the ten of spades falls, that's great. I make the contract immediately. If not, I can cash two clubs, ditching a spade. I can cash the ace of diamonds, play a heart to the king, and cash the king of diamonds, ditching a heart. Then I'll be down to a two-card end position, where dummy has the ace ten of hearts, and I have the nine of spades in hand. Maybe someone gets squeezed, maybe the Queen of Hearts falls, maybe the Ten of Spades falls. This is definitely the percentage play. All of my instincts are telling me that I should put in the nine, but I think it's just far too good to play for the automatic squeeze on this one. So let's try it. I was correct that I needed to put in the nine, but all hope is not lost. So we'll see, if East has heart length, then East does get squeezed when I play the King of Diamonds. Nope, not today, not today. West had the Heart Queen protected. So, hmm. A bit of a tricky play problem. 
Um, we didn't get the maximum, but we did get 10 tricks, which is better than nothing, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it was, it was kind of just another exercise in reading the opponent's carding. I was, it felt to me like East had four spades based on the spot cards that he had played in the spade suit. Um, so that strongly indicated putting in the nine on the second round of the suit. But I think I'm happy with the line of play we took. Had East held the Queen of Hearts, we would have still made 11 tricks. So not a bad score to start out. Oh, wow. This is an exciting hand that we picked up on the third board. So West opens a heart, our partner overcalls a natural two diamond bid in our six card suit, and East bids three diamonds. Well, my hand does not have a lot of defense, <laughs> so I do want to be preempting with this hand. I, I also have an enormous amount of offense with 11 cards and two suits in the minors. <clears throat> I think I want to bid five diamonds, but I could see arguments for other choices. I mean, I think I could bid four, well, I'm wondering, what would Fort Fort no Trump is apparently Blackwood? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I, I was th thinking that maybe I could bid Fort no Trump to show both miners, and that might clue our partner in, so that if the opponents did actually bid to five hearts, our partner might have a sense of what to do. But it looks like we can't do that. Five diamonds seems like a down the middle choice. 18 to 19 total points. Yeah, good luck. I <laughs> That's not exactly what this bid should show. It should just be preemptive. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any alternatives. I mean, if we were really confident that the opponents were going to bid five hearts over five diamonds, we could actually bid six diamonds here. I'm, I'm just going to quickly take a peek at what that <laughs> the robots think that shows. 21 or more points? I don't think so. but. I think there's a good chance five diamonds ends the bidding, either doubled or undoubled. Um, and even if it doesn't, our partner might get a chance to take another call when the opponents do bid to five hearts. So we'll try five diamonds. That is not really what you're supposed to be doing, partner, but this could work out. I mean, we have the heart void. It's possible our par partner has like a club void in the spade ace and six diamonds could just come rolling home. So, but I'm a little concerned that this five diamond bid showing 18 to 19 total points caused our partner to do something a bit excessive like bidding six diamonds. So we'll see, we'll see. Oh, well six diamonds has a chance. <laughs> That's a good sign. I mean, we have 11 trumps and only the King of Diamonds is outstanding. So we're going to need to put our thinking caps on and try to find out what's going on in the diamond suit. Um, but OK, East has the Ace King of Spades, and West has opened the bidding. So this is going to give us quite a bit of information. I mean, East made a limit raise, but I think I'm intending to take a diamond finesse through west. <clears throat> Let me just take a look for a second. I mean, I don't know anything about the heart suit. It is possible that west has, say, the ace king queen of hearts and, like, the queen jack of spades, in which case east might have the king of diamonds. But I suspect East probably has a heart honor. And in that case, that's kind of all East needs for his limit raise. West should have the remainder of the high cards for his opening bid. So if West has something like the Ace Queen of Hearts, the Queen Jack of Spades, that's nine, the Jack of Clubs is 10, yeah, it's looking like if East has a heart honor. West kind of needs the king of diamonds to open the bidding. So I'll leave the jack of hearts just in case 
we get any more information from east on this trick. We don't. And let's try the queen of diamonds. Ah, too bad. Diamonds were 2-0 offside. So we're down one. Um, all in all, not a terrible result. The opponents are called for six hearts or six spades on this hand. Well, six spades as long as I don't get a heart rough. Um, but six hearts is absolutely making in this spot. So the fact that we have kind of the sacrifice that we've made in six diamonds is not a terrible score for us. I'm a little curious as to whether or not five diamonds would pass out. Now, with West's hand, I absolutely would be bidding five hearts over five diamonds, truth be told. With a void, partner has made a limit raise, a sixth trump. Um, for all those reasons, I think I'm just jumping into five hearts on the steal. And yeah, I'm, I'm actually very curious what would have happened if our partner hadn't gone and bid six diamonds. I don't think six diamonds is a very good bid on North's hand. For starters, he overcalled on a five card suit, vulnerable. I think that's a big no-no in general. But, uh, you know, it, it almost worked out, right? I mean, I mean, our five diamond bid didn't have to be as strong. I air quotes around that because we only have four high card points, but it didn't have to be as good of a hand in terms of distribution or diamond fit as we actually held. So North got a bit lucky that we had a really good five diamond bid, preemptive. Um, but okay, on to the next deal. I suppose we'll see how that scores in the end. It kind of feels a little flat. I imagine most of the players are going to bid five diamonds with my hand, and if the robots do all the same things all the time, everyone's going to be in six diamonds doubled down one. So two passes to us, we have 13 highs, I will open a club. Partner bids a heart. And I think there are two options. We could bid a spade to kind of show our hand, show our four card spade suit, continue keeping the auction open. The reason we might want to do that is that we could have a 4-4 four, four spade fit. Alternatively, we could just pass a heart. And we wouldn't do this if partner was not a passed hand, but as partner's a passed hand, he's limited to less than an opening bid. We have a minimum opener. It's unlikely that game is going to be good on our cards. And additionally, we don't have a great heart fit, but we could have a 5-3 heart fit. Our partner could have five hearts over there. So if we bid a spade and our partner bids a no trump, for example, we have to pass that. We could miss out on playing in a 5-3 heart fit, especially when we have a small doubleton diamond. Um, and playing in a 4-3 heart fit wouldn't be too terrible either. So I'm going to pass a heart. And, well, let's think for a second about whether or not we did something great or something terrible. Because partner has 11. I suspect if we did bid a spade, our partner would have bid two no trump on his hand, showing a complete maximum. And we might raise to three no trump, but it looks as if we're gonna be very short on tricks in those contracts. I mean, maybe, maybe hearts provides four tricks. Maybe spades provides three tricks. We have a diamond trick and maybe a club trick, so there is the potential to make nine tricks and no trump but I think I'm much happier playing in the part score right now, where we only need to take seven tricks to make our contract, and then it's going to be a little important to try and uh, take some over tricks here, but I do expect that we have won this board in the auction a little bit. So the Jack of Hearts lead is an interesting one. Um, it's going to stop us from roughing a ton of diamonds in the dummy, but maybe we can still get away with at least one diamond rough. I'm wondering about that nine of hearts in North's hand. Would East really lead the jack of hearts from jack double ten of trumps? Or is it more likely to be like jack ten third or even jack ten fourth? I don't think I would ever lead a trump from jack ten fourth. I think that's a bit too much of a position. Or if I did, I would lead a low one. 
So what does my line apply look like on this hand? Well, I think our contract is mostly secure, especially if we rough a diamond. We can take three hearts, a diamond rough, two spades, and the ace of diamonds. So that's going to be seven tricks. We will want to try and set up some tricks in the black suits. Maybe spades break 3-3, three, three. maybe the ten of spades will represent a trick. Maybe the club ace or queen is on side. Um, <clears throat> so I, I guess it's notable that east passed in second seat, so if we count a bunch of high cards in east hand somehow, we can better guess what's going on in the black suits. East doesn't have an opening hand. Also, west did not come into the auction over one club opener, so west probably doesn't have a five-card suit, or a good five-card suit, at least. Well, I think my plan to start is going to be to win the King of Hearts and play a diamond to the 10. This can potentially pick up the diamond suit for two tricks if West has like Queen Jack third or King Jack third or something like that. Um, so let's see how the first couple tricks go and see what East returns after presumably winning the diamond. Oh, okay. West puts in the Diamond Queen. <clears throat> so I think I should win the Ace, and then the question is, what do I do next in the Diamond Suit? So this does look like West has like King Queen or maybe Queen Jack um, of Diamonds. Hmm. So let's win the Ace of Diamonds, and gosh, what I want to do is lead a club right now, but if I lead a club and I miss guess and West returns a heart, and I win, and I lead a diamond, and they win, and they play another heart, uh, I have the potential to go down in this contract. So that's not too appealing to me. Hmm. But if I lead a club and it works, maybe that's a good thing. Okay, let's let's go ahead and lead the Ten of Diamonds. I think that it's possible to still pick up the diamond suit for just one loser and just one rough. The five of diamonds could be a big card. I mean, west could have something like king, queen, eight of diamonds. East four of diamonds could be like a high-low from jack, um, what is it, four, three, two in the suit. So let's try the ton of diamonds. We'll see what happens on this trick. East hops up with the jack. And, okay, West plays the three. And we get the Ten of Hearts return. So, I guess my plan is to just win the Queen of Hearts, cross to the Spade King, and rough a diamond. Hmm. The three of diamonds. It's strange. Who has the two of diamonds? I guess it could be east. East could have jack, eight, four, two of diamonds. That's possible. So the nine of diamonds could actually set up when we take this line of play. An issue is I don't have a way back to my hand to pull trumps. Hmm. You know, maybe it's actually a better line to not rough the diamond. I know this risks the contract, in a sense. But maybe I can force the opponents to play diamonds for me. It does look like West has the king of diamonds remaining. Hmm. <laughs> so I could do something like pull trumps, and then 
play like the king of spades and a spade towards the 10. If west wins, maybe west is end played in three suits. A spade back could just give me two spade tricks, which would be fine. A club back would be into the king jack. Um, a diamond would presumably pick up the diamond suit for me for one loser. I'm actually kind of liking that line of play. Uh, it's it's so risky though. <laughs> I'm not sure that this is actually a good line. Um, <clears throat> it feels much safer to just rough my diamond loser. Okay, I'm I'm gonna rough my diamond loser. I'm I want to get a plus score on this hand, and I think that it's possible. Other pairs are going to get too high, so I'm kind of content just playing a little safe. The Nine of Diamonds does set up, so East did play the four on the first round from Jack Eight for Deuce, um, but it kind of looks like maybe the opponents are actually going to be able to rough out my diamond. So East can play a diamond now, giving his partner a rough. Oh, what? Well, now I just have the rest. I can pull trumps. Why did Wes not rough the diamond? Oh my, <laughs> well, that was a defensive blunder. I mean, not that it really was gonna matter too much. I was, um, I was always taking nine tricks in this contract, but the extra trick at the end is just gonna be icing on the cake. So, pretty good score. It looks like it looks like three no trump does have some potential. We you could make three no trump on these cards. So, I think some north south pairs are going to end up in three no if my hand doesn't pass a heart. And maybe they get lucky and make that contract, but there's a lot of work to be done and you're kind of going to need the opponents to mess up pretty badly in the defense. I mean, even in the worst case scenario, the opponents can set up two clubs, two diamonds, and a spade trick um, to beat three now. But plus 170 looks like a good score. So let's keep moving on, on to the next deal. <clears throat> well, I'm going to open those two spades, and I know that the robots don't like opening two of a major with three cards in the other major, but it's just a really good bid. You want to preempt the auction, especially if you're favorable, and you want to tell your partner about your six-card suit, because sometimes you have a big fit. And if you don't open two spades on these, hand, these hands, west opens a no trump, and your partner doesn't bid, and east you know, bids three no trump, and then you have a ten-card spade fit that you haven't found out about. So, I'll open two spades. I think the hand's a little too weak for a one spade opener. Uh, two no trump. Okay, now I can look at what... Okay, it looks like we play feature. That's good to know. So, two no trump is asking if I have an outside ace or king. I do get to show the king of hearts. Partner bids three spades. Uh, which is weird, but I'm going to raise. I mean, my hand is just an absolute maximum. If partner has any interest, what's maybe I should raise by bidding three no trump? Hmm. That's a curious thought. Well, I should bid a game. I mean, I have 10 high card points and our partner asked. I mean, it says 15 plus, but I think in general over week two that's not vulnerable, this should be closer to like 16 or 17. So we should have a game on this hand. And the question is, do I want to try three no trump, potentially allowing partner to declare three no, or do I want to just bid four spades, given that I do have a singleton somewhere? My spades are a bit weak. I think I'm gonna offer three no trump on the off chance that partner has something like singleton ace or singleton queen of spades, then hopefully the jack of clubs and jack of diamonds will fill in enough values in his minor suits. 
I do expect that our partner will return to four spades if he has a real fit. Or not. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, this is... That's one way to bid the hand, partner. <laughs> hmm. I can't say I like partner's choices in the auction, although we did get to a game contract, and this game has some pretty good play, I would imagine. But with 14 balanced, 4 triple 3, I think it's you're going to be hard-pressed to find a hand where your partner has good play for either 4 spades or 3 no trump after a week 2 opening bid. I mean, imagine my hand was just king, queen, jack, 6 the spades and nothing else. We have 6 spade tricks, the ace of hearts. Maybe we get lucky and one of these uh, minor suit kings offers a trick, but that only gets us up to 8 tricks, right? And even if both minor suit kings produce a trick, that gets us up to nine. We're still really stretching to find our tenth trick in spades. Um, so yeah, I, I think I would either pass or maybe raise two spades to three preemptively with North's hand, but one of those two choices looks right. Nonetheless, I mean, I'm happy, given my hand, the partner actually did raise. So... What am I thinking on this hand? Well, I believe I'm going to want to preserve both of these entries to the dummy to lead towards both of my kings. Is that true in any fashion? Maybe I don't. Maybe what I want to do is preserve the ace of hearts so that I will have an entry to my hand in case one of these kings happens to be a winner. Uh, I have three hearts. I mean, I have hopefully five or six spade tricks. I don't think I'm going to take a safety play in spades. I mean, I could protect against, for example, queen jack fourth of spades with one of the opponents by ducking the first round, but that gives up on the potential to take six spade tricks. And that could be a very straightforward way to score up my 3 no trump game. So, what do I want to do about this hand in general? I guess I should win the King of Hearts. I mean, maybe leading a club towards the Jack actually produces a trick for us. So let's win the King of Hearts, and let's test the Spade Suit first. Okay. We have our nine tricks in the bag. Now we just want to worry about the potential for over tricks. <clears throat> so one thing I'm kind of worried about is that even though we're in three now and we have nine tricks, if I just take my nine tricks, players who play this in spades, which I think is more reasonable, I don't know why our partner left us in three no trump with a nine card fit, They'll be able to take finesses in both minor suits, first diamonds, and then clubs to potentially set up however many extra tricks they can get in those two suits. For us, in no trump, if we lead diamonds, even if the ace is on side, we are immediately setting up diamond tricks for the opponents, and same thing with clubs. If we lead clubs and the ace is on side, we're immediately setting up club tricks for the opponents. So we kind of have to guess what to do um, in terms of playing for over tricks. I think I'm going to lead a club to the king first. We have more cards in the suit, so the opponents will have set up fewer tricks uh, in that suit if we guess incorrectly. So let's give that a shot. Club loses to the ace, diamond comes back to West's ace, queen of clubs is cashed, and now we have the rest. Um, so 10 tricks, looking at the hand overall, 
Um, the Ace of Diamonds is on side, so we can always get a diamond trick, but in the club suit, we would have to be double dummy to get an extra club trick. We would have had to lead a club to the nine, which is very much not the percentage play for getting a trick in that suit. So it looks like people who play in spades are going to lose the Ace of Diamonds and probably two clubs to make ten tricks. In No Trump, we also took 10 tricks, so this is going to be a good score, but we were definitely in hot water. I mean, East could have returned a club when he got in with the club ace, finessing through our jack, West would get two club tricks, and the ace of diamonds holding us to just nine. Anyway, probably again a good score, but we'll see at the end. So taking a look at the next board, 5-5, five, five, 14 count, we will open a spade. Our partner bids two spades. And this is one of these hands where at imps, I would just bid four spades. The rationale behind it is that we don't want to give away any information to the opponents um, about their opening lead. And you know, if we were to bid, say, three diamonds, which I think I'm going to do here, the opponents will no to lead hearts or clubs, set up their heart trick, take their club trick. Um, whereas if I just blast four spades, maybe they'll lead a doubleton diamond or something, allowing me to set up my diamond suit or avoid a guess for the diamond queen, something like that. But at match points, I'm going to take the more conservative route. As we've seen many times in these events, just being a little conservative in the bidding and taking all of your tricks tends to lead to a well above average score for the board. So I'm going to try three diamonds, natural, um, just a game try. And our partner bids three spades. I have never seen the robots accept any game try, so I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of curious about just doing it on a bunch of hands and seeing if they do ever accept. I mean, if they never accept, then maybe I really should just bid four spades with these kinds of hands. But hopefully our partner doesn't have a good diamond fit, otherwise he should have accepted. Well, that's an interesting hand. <laughs> um, I kind of like our partner's decisions on this auction. It's, it's a little strange, but I, I do think I like all of his choices. I mean, you have to find a bid over partner's one spade bid when you have an ace and four card trump support. I could have a 19, 20, 21 count that's just not quite good enough for a two club opener. And not supporting your partner's suit means we can miss game. Um, with four trumps, I like the two spade bid. Some people might do something like bid a no trump, forcing, planning to bid two spades next to show a very, very weak raise to two spades. But I think this hand is probably good enough for a direct two spades, given the ace, a doubleton, and four card trump support. And then over three diamonds, I mean, despite having the fourth trump and a doubleton, North's hand does feel very minimal to me. So I can imagine that um, game might not be the right spot. And he doesn't have any diamond support. I mean, it would be different if he had eights, 10, 9, 4 of diamonds and a doubleton club. Then I would absolutely accept, despite having only four high card points. I mean, partner bid three diamonds for a reason. So, well, let's see what our prospects are in this contract. I mean, if everything goes well, we can take 11 tricks. If the ace of diamonds is on side, the spades split 2-2, two, two, and we can rough the diamonds good, then 11 tricks are there. If things start to go wrong, though, like if the diamond ace is on side and spades split 3-1, we're going to be limited to 9 tricks. They have already set up a heart. They can take 2 diamonds in their natural spade trick. Uh... So I think the line of play that looks most appealing to me is to win the Ace of Hearts, cash a spade, cross to the club ace, and lead a diamond. Is that right? Maybe that's not a good line of play. Maybe I should duck the opening heart laid. 
So that, that actually seems way better. Okay, let's duck the opening heart lead um, for starters. This is kind of a common, I guess, expert technique where we're going to be denying the opponent's communication between their two hands and the heart suit. So my plan is kind of going to be to um, rough out the diamonds before I draw trumps, and therefore if one of the opponents is able to overrough, they won't be able to cross back to their partner's hand and hearts to continuously overrough me and diamonds. Okay, we get diamond switch. The diamond is on side, and a heart comes back. At this point, there's not much more to the hand than just pulling trumps and trying to rough the diamonds good, so I think that's our line of play. Um, so that's going to look like ace, king of spades, king of diamonds, rough a diamond, rough a heart, rough a diamond. Hopefully our diamonds are good at that point. Um, so we'll see if everything divides well. It looks like it does. The diamond ace is on side. Spades were 2-2. Two, two. So even though diamonds were 4-2, uh, we do make our 11 tricks on this one, which is maybe not great for our side. I think that some players with my hand might just blast four spades. Maybe they're more used to playing imps than match points. And that would have worked out here at imps. I mean, but you can see that spades 2-2 two, two is about 40% of the time, the diamond ace on side is about half of that, so we're looking at close to 20% of the time that we take 11 tricks. If one of those things happens, we still need to get a little lucky um, for our game to come home, so maybe it's borderline about 50%, but we only had 18 high card points between our two hands, uh, which oftentimes is not one of the situations you want to play in game. Okay, taking a look at board eight, almost halfway through. North opens a club, East over calls a heart. We get to make a negative double, showing four spades. West bids two hearts, we get to make a takeout double um, of two hearts, just hoping that our partner can bid something. Partner bids three clubs, and East bids three hearts. All right, so what do we think is going on on this hand? Well, our partner does not have spade support, and I think we play support doubles, so our partner should have at most two spades over there. Our partner bid three clubs instead of, for example, three diamonds, which is maybe the suit that we're more likely to hold, given our takeout double. I mean, if we had club support, we might have balanced with three clubs rather than double. So, what do I think partner's shape is? Let's suppose, for starters, the opponents have nine hearts between them. Then our partner has two spades, two hearts. I guess he could have three diamonds and six clubs, or four diamonds and five clubs is maybe possible, but I would expect a three diamond bid with that shape. So partner could be 2-2-3-6. I think it's far more likely that our partner actually has three hearts. And in that case, I kind of want to double them in their contract. I expected that we were making three clubs, so if I don't double them, then they're getting away cheaply for as a sacrifice against our making part score. And I have a lot of defense. I mean, it looks like I have three tricks in my own hand. Partner opened the bidding. We might be able to get partner spade rough. I plan on leading a spade against this contract, just given that partner looks like he has a doubleton spade over there. So for all those reasons, I think I'm going to double. Let me just make sure that this is... It says forcing to three no trump. Oh, no. I don't want partner to pull the double. Double should just be, I have values. How upset am I going to be if partner bids three no trump? <laughs> Maybe I should think about that. Three no could make, I mean, we might have five clubs, a heart, and three diamonds, or five clubs, a heart, two diamonds, and a spade. Okay, 
Okay, I'm sold. I'm doubling. And if partner bids three now, so help him. <laughs> Four clubs. All right. I mean, this could make as well. You know, we, we won't know until we see the dummy. Hmm. Well, how do I feel about this overall? Um, were they making three heart? I mean, it looks like we're probably, we have a good shot at making four clubs here. <clears throat> I should probably duck this trick, right? Maybe I make five clubs? If I duck this trick, West has King Jack, say, fourth of diamonds, I can finesse the eight of diamonds and then use my other diamonds to discard my spade loser. Although West could, of course, deny me this opportunity by ducking the ten of diamonds around to the queen, but uh, maybe he won't work that out. Maybe he'll hope that his partner has led a singleton and give him, try to give him a rough. It's really bad to duck this trick if West has the heart ace. Who overcalled hearts? East overcalled hearts. Yeah, I'm... I think I'm willing to risk the contract in the hopes that West, say, makes the mistake of hopping up with the Diamond King so that I could take 11 tricks. I could ditch my spade loser on the fourth diamond. Um... Maybe this doesn't work out often enough, actually, because I need an entry to the dummy. After pulling trumps, that is. I mean, the king of hearts could be an entry to the dummy. Hmm. Ah, live a little. It's match points. You gotta play for as many tricks as are reasonably possible. So I think we duck the diamond, does go to the king, diamond comes back, roughed, that's too bad. Well, as long as clubs are not 4-0 originally, we do get to cash two clubs, unblock the diamond queen, cross to the club ace, and ditch our spade loser. So no harm in the line of play we chose. But we only get 10 tricks. And it's kind of worth noting that if we had tried the alternative of hopping up with the diamond ace, we would not have the diamond spots to be able to take three diamond tricks into Char Spade Loser. So we would have just immediately been conceding to uh, plus 130 for our final result. So we gave ourselves a chance, and we just needed to work out that even if the diamond got roughed, we still had a pretty reasonable shot to collect 10 tricks for our contract. Okay. Board 9, so we're halfway through. East opens a club, and we have 16 balanced, but no club stopper. I think I'm gonna bid a diamond? Hmm. Partner's a passed hand, that's something that's worth noting. So unless partner has a complete maximum for a passed hand, we probably don't have a game contract anywhere. So what I'm thinking is, do I want to make a takeout double now, potentially keeping both hearts and spades in the picture? Or do I want to make a more straightforward bid right now of one diamond, but if the auction gets competitive, I might have a bit of difficulty um, bidding later. I mean, it's great if I overcall a diamond and West bids two clubs and it comes pass, pass back to me, then I make a takeout double, partner knows exactly what our hand looks like. But if it goes a club and I overcall a diamond and West bids like a spade or something, then it's going to be way harder for me to show values with club shortness in the future. I think, I think I'm going to double, and 
we'll see what transpires. I mean, I, I might even be comfortable bidding two diamonds showing a new suit later after making the takeout double to show a pretty strong hand. Our hand is close, 16 high card points to that range. So let's start with double. I'm just hoping that partner does bid a major, which looks like it might even play well in a 4-3 fit. So we do get to two hearts. Maybe I should have considered raising. I mean, I didn't, I didn't spend a whole lot of time thinking about that. I, I do have 16, and I feel like I made this mistake the other day as well, <laughs> that I didn't raise with a very strong hand. Uh, you know what, this is probably just a huge mistake. I was so concerned about showing off that I have the major suits that I didn't really think about what partner's two heart bid might show. Um, well, let's just do the best we can in this contract. I don't know what's going to happen at other tables. I think a lot of players might overcall a diamond on my hand. I mean, some might even overcall a no trump just to show their values. But we'll pretend like other tables have not gotten to game either on our cards. Uh, we have two club losers off the top. We can ditch two spades from partner's hand on the ace, king, and diamonds. That's not bad. And then maybe we can actually rough the clubs good. So East opened a club, which means it's somewhat likely that East has club length. I mean, East could have three clubs, but East might also have four or even five clubs. Let's follow the first couple tricks and see what the opponents do. Um, we'll probably get more information based on the club spots that are being played and um, and whether East switches to spades or continues clubs or whatnot. And I'm going to dump the seven of clubs on the first trick. Again, we want to give the signal in the opponent's carding system that we want them to do. So I want East to continue clubs because that's going to give me information about what's going on in the club suit. Um, so I'm going to encourage because the opponents are playing standard carding. Uh, okay, now that the eights dropped, I'm going to play the nine. And we get a spade switch. Hmm. So what do I think is going on in the club suit? It looks like West has a club honor of some sort. I've seen the robots lead both ace from ace king and king from ace king, so we can't be certain that East has the king queen of clubs. But it does look like whatever club East held, whether it's ace king, he's probably missing the one that's just below it. So he's either has ace king missing the queen or king queen missing the jack. Um, I guess I'm going to start out by hopping up with the spade ace and ditching my spade losers on the ace king of diamonds. This could be the wrong play. It could be that I need to take two spade finesses playing the opening bidder east for at least one spade honor and use my diamonds to ditch my club losers. Um, <clears throat> but I think it's more practical to just ditch my two spade losers, lose no tricks in that suit, and then try our best to rough out the clubs. Clubs can still be 3-3 between the opponent's hands. There's nothing suggesting that they aren't. And in fact, I mean, West has denied four cards in either major, so we do know that East has four spades on this auction. So... Maybe I should spend a little time working out what East shape is likely to look like. East has four spades. East probably has the shorter heart, so that would give East a doubleton heart. Um, so East has seven cards in the minors, which therefore does make it look like he has three diamonds and four clubs. Hmm. That's okay, though, because if West does have three hearts, I can rough one club low and one club with the ace of hearts. And West ha having the three-card heart suit would be reduced to two trumps. Then we can just pull trumps with the king-queen. Okay, I, I think that's going to be my plan then. So we'll hop up with the ace of spades. 
play the ace, king of diamonds, ditching our spades. West ditching the queen of diamonds is interesting, and the jack of diamonds. We'll play club. So West wins the jack, plays the eight of diamonds. Uh, I mean, I have to rough low, but this does not look like a great switch from my side. Because now it's looking like diamonds are 6-2. So East started with four clubs. And, or maybe started with four clubs. Four spades. Two diamonds and therefore three hearts. So that's fine then. I mean, in that case we get to rough low. East over roughs, we can rough a club high and pull trumps. Oh! East has three diamonds. I see. Oh, I see what West is doing. Because now when West gets in with a club rough, he can play yet another diamond. Hmm. Well, no reason to worry about that now. I think we do just start giving up a couple of tricks here and there. So let's rough a club. We kind of expected that to go poorly. We'll rough a diamond. We expected that to go poorly. And now we do get the spade rough. We get to rough a club high, pull trumps, and claim the rest for nine tricks. Not a terrible result. Uh, I think four hearts, so do, can we make four hearts double dummy on this one? Maybe not. I was hopeful with this kind of club suit that East would actually continue the suit at trick two, squashing his partner's jack, but we were not able to convince them to do that, even with our encouraging nine of clubs that we tried to play. Um, yeah, it, it kind of looks like you're going to have troubles if you play this hand in four hearts, and maybe nine tricks is really the limit. So on that note, we did well to stay out of game, but I, I suspect I probably made the wrong choice by passing partners two hearts. I didn't really give it enough consideration. All right, board 10. 12 high card points, 5 card spade suit, let's get into the auction. And we get a 2 over 1, this is great. Uh, 2 diamonds looks to be natural, so we'll try that. I believe most experts really play 2 diamonds as like a waiting bid, because 2 clubs for many of those partnerships, like all the partnerships I played with are artificial, could be a double 10 with 3 card spade support. And okay, let's quickly check to make sure this doesn't show spades. It does not. I don't have anything to say. I showed my hand. So let's play three now. <laughs> why do the opponents insist on leading my suit? I don't understand why this happens every single deal. It looks to be a pretty good lead on this hand. You know, if, if I duck a spade, West can win and switch to clubs, which might immediately defeat our contract. But I kind of want to duck spades, just on the off chance that the suit splits well for us. Also, could East be leading away from the Queen Jack? Maybe. <laughs> the robots are so weird. Well, <clears throat> it looks as if... So I have three diamonds off the top, I have two spades, that brings me up to five tricks. If the heart finesse is working, there's a decent chance I can take four heart tricks, but I will get at least three hearts. Hmm. I'm a little scared of ducking the spade. I mean, this hand is exposed in the dummy, the one with the singleton club, so if West wins the opening spade lead, he's gonna have a pretty good sense about which suit to switch to. Even though our partner did bid two clubs in the auction, I think it's more likely that a club switch is gonna be warranted from his side than a heart switch or a diamond switch. So I think I should win the ace of spades. 
it's the safest line to potentially make three no. And I mean, it is true that the nine of clubs offers a little bit of protection against a uh, three no trump going down if I duck the spade, but I don't think it's worthwhile to take the risk. So let's hop up with the spade ace and let's take our finesse. Does not win. Our heart comes back. That's kind of expected. I mean, could this lead have been a singleton spade, actually? Because I would ex I would fully expect East to continue spades if he had strong spades, like queen jack fourth, or weak spades, like a doubleton. Which does make me believe spades are probably 5-1. I don't know how to use that information to help myself. I suppose what that means is that I can try and end play east into leading clubs for me. That's, that's a reasonable plan, actually. So I could cash all of my hearts, all of my diamonds, and the spade king, I suppose. Um, well, maybe I shouldn't cash the spade king. And then I could either end play East by leading diamonds, or maybe lead a club and put in the nine, hoping that East will maintain the lead in that suit. That's a very risky line of play, actually. I'm just thinking about it, because what if West actually has the club ace? If West has the club ace and I cash all of my red suit winners, stripping all of my entries to the north hand, then West will win the Ace of Clubs and play back the Queen of Spades, locking me in South's hand, and I will go down. When I could have just taken a simple club finesse to make nine tricks. Ooh, that is a little scary. That is a little scary. But I feel somewhat confident about my read. Maybe I'll get a better sense of what's going on if I run the hearts first. So I think I should try that to start with. East ditches the nine of spades. Oh. Well, that's unexpected. So East originally led the seven of spades. which makes me think East had a three-card suit, but oh, geez, I've, I've been fooled before. The opponents of the robots have led low from doubletons in the past. That's such a weird lead, though. Okay, I'm gonna cash another heart and see if I can get more information. Now East throws a club and that spot is so in the middle that it could be either encouraging or discouraging. Hmm. Ah, man, so if, if East really does have spade length, I want to ditch a diamond and then just set up my spade tricks. But if East has led low from a doubleton spade, I want to ditch my spade and hope that the diamond suit is splitting. I think I'm going to go with my gut on this, that East has led low from a doubleton spade. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that's my instinct, but... Is that really true? Hold on just a second. Let me... Because <clears throat> this is a very risky choice. I think a lot of players would just play for the spade suit to split well. Um... Maybe I can 
kind of hedge my bets and ditch a spade and then lead a spade. Is that, is that sensible in any way? It's probably not very sensible. But I think I should try it. So if the spades do split, then I can at least set up one spade trick, um, leaving the ace of diamonds as an entry. And if the spades don't split, I can fall back on this line of play of king, queen, ace of diamonds, play a diamond, throw east in to hopefully lead a club away from the ace. Hmm. Okay, I, I think I will try this. And let's maybe try and get a count on the diamond suit first. Both of those look low, so this actually makes me believe the diamonds are probably splitting. Yeah, it really feels like the diamonds are splitting at this point. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's lead a spade. The spades did split. Oh! East did lead a spade away from the queen jack. Well, that's fine. That's fine. So at this point, East is down to two spade winners. We just have to lead a club up towards the king. West wins, but will have to give us a club. Why, why is East leading a spade against this auction? Oh, I feel silly. I feel very silly now. Uh, that's okay. We kind of worked out what was going on towards the end of the hand and managed to take as many tricks as we could after not running the opening spade lead around to the 10. But still happy we made the contract. Not bad overall. On to board 11, 13 highs, we get to open a diamond, partner bids a heart, east bids a spade, I believe I can bid a no trump here, which seems like the correct choice. What is three clubs? Apparently a two suited bar bid, six or more clubs, four hearts, and six to 11 total points. And now east really is stepping on hot water by bidding three spades. I want to go after this contract. And I think I have a bunch of good choices for opening leads. Um, the King of Clubs is probably the one I'll select, but the Ace of Hearts is probably a fine opening lead as well. Um, we have two natural trump tricks, the King and Ten, presuming that East has all of the Ace, Queen, Jack of Spades. I'm just wondering whether three no trump is a is going to have any play. I mean, if our partner really has like ace queen six of clubs over there, then we have six club tricks, a spade trick, and a heart trick brings us up to eight, and then we just need either the king ten of diamonds or the ten of hearts or um, the ten of spades to produce an extra trick. I think it's very possible that three no trump can make on this hand, but I don't have any guarantee and I just want to kind of collect what looks like a pretty sure plus score on the deal, so I'm going to double three spades, lead the king of clubs. Okay. Well, we got our club trick in, we do have a heart trick. It looks like I might get a diamond trick. It looks like I might get two spade tricks. So we'll probably beat this contract. I would like to beat it as many tricks as I can. Um, partner has the queen jack of clubs and probably some heart values. But I think, you know, it's possible partner has the queen of hearts. So switching to ace of hearts and a heart might not do wonders for our side. I'm just gonna continue a club. Declare did well to duck this trick, 
So he has cut communications from our hands as a concept that I discussed earlier when I was playing one of the deals. And club gets roughed and over roughed. Well, that's surprising to me. I mean, it is true that if I rough this, um, I'm kind of giving up a spade trick because Declare will then be able to force out my spades pretty simply. I also kind of end play myself if I rough this trick, but I don't really have a good way around that, so I think I need to. I think I do need to rough. And I think I should get out a low spade. Um, I'm never getting more than one. I mean, partner could have the singleton jack of spades over there, in which case getting out a low spade costs a trick, but I kind of expect that getting out a heart also costs a trick, and, same, and a diamond has the potential to cost a trick as well. Should I spend a little time thinking about partner's shape? I mean, it looks like partner is one, four, two, six. In which case, Declare could have the ace, jack, and diamonds, or might have just ace empty and diamonds. Ace doubleton, and partner has the jack. Um, <clears throat> a heart switch doesn't exactly cost a trick now, but if I switch to hearts and Declare then goes, well, ace of spades, queen of spades, I could win and then play a spade back. So it, it does kind of look as if I'm going to have to exit in hearts anyway. Um, like, if I play a spade back now, Declare can win the queen, play the ace, and play another spade, and playing us into leading a red suit. So maybe I should just lead hearts immediately. Hopefully our partner has the queen nine, or the king, in the best case scenario. That would be nice. Um, hmm. I'm just thinking. I mean, if partner has the singleton queen of spades, then exiting a spade right now is very beneficial. And if partner has the queen of hearts without the nine, then I actually want to be exiting in diamonds, not, not hearts. Hmm. It is a tricky spot. I mean, if I could peer into my partner's hand and see the full deal, I would know what to do. But, um, I mean, another useful thing that the robots don't do at all would be if I had gotten some sort of suit preference signal on the third round of clubs. Presumably, partner could have covered this eight of clubs with a variety of cards. I, I forget exactly which ones he has left, but it looks like the jack and ten. So the jack would signal for he wants hearts. The ten would signal um, either neutral or that he wants diamonds. Okay, I, I think I'm just gonna exit hearts. It feels like the most down the middle choice. Okay, partner has the king of hearts. We do get a heart rough, but now we are truly unplayed. So I'll lead a diamond, um, and we do get a spade trick eventually. I'm going to feel a little silly if our partner drops the singleton spade queen, but he does not. So two down. And that was a weird line of play from Declare. Because it looked like he could have gotten, well, he end played me in diamonds eventually, so I guess his line of play kind of broke even, but it was very strange to give me two roughs. I mean, he, he knows that a heart rough is coming, so why would he ever rough the third round of clubs? Uh, but taking a look at the hand, what is our, how does three no trump look? I mean, it looks as if three no trump probably makes. We have five clubs, two hearts. And both the Ace of Spades and Ace of Diamonds are on side. So I was right in thinking about trying 3-No-Trump in this auction, you know, which is 
a little surprising, you might say, but the hand felt like it fit very well together and we were taking a lot of tricks, as well as the fact that the 10 of spades was a very, very important card, both offensively and defensively. Um, I suppose the opponents can maybe defeat 3-no Trump if they find the best defense, which looks like is to... Maybe they can, maybe they can't. I'm actually not sure. Uh, I, I won't spend a lot of time dwelling on it, though. But plus 300 tends to be a pretty good score. Pretty happy with that result at match points when we were, in general, going to be playing in a part score contract. Uh, okay. Board 12. A club by our partner. Two hearts by east. So we could make an aggressive two spade bid. We can make a negative double. Um, I think those are our two choices. So two spades tends to show about 10, maybe 11 high card points or more, um, and a five card suit. The negative double would just show four spades or longer and some values. I'm leaning towards the negative double, but I think there's a case to be made for two spades. I mean, for one thing, two spades shows our spade length. So partner's never going to be confused about whether or not we have a spade fit. Whereas if we double and our partner only has three spades, then we might not find our fit. Um, the issue with two spades is that partner might bid two no trump, and we get too high because we only have eight high card points. So I think for all those reasons, I like doubling. It hasn't misdescribed our hand yet, we just haven't had the opportunity to show our fifth spade. I see. Our partner just jumps to three no trump. Probably okay. I, I would still like to play in four spades if we had a 5-3 fit, but I will pass. Whoa! <laughs> I don't think that was the right choice, partner. Oh my. Oh my. Well, looking on the bright side, maybe some pairs are going to go down in seven clubs. <laughs> but I also think seven clubs might make. Anyway, we're in three no trump now, which means we have to come up with a plan to make this silly contract. I'm gonna take the club finesse. I mean, there's nothing, no reason for me to expect that taking the club finesse is not the correct line of play. And, hmm. I might take the diamond finesse afterwards. Well, let's see what happens at trick one, because maybe the nine of hearts will provide a stopper in the heart suit. If east has like king, queen, jack, six, then west has like 10 doubleton, then the suit could be blocked. Two of hearts, of course. So we need to cross to dummy and spades. And I'm gonna take the club finesse. <laughs> and let's see how many heart tricks they run. Okay, the heart suit is blocked. That's a good start. And since we fortunately did not cash the spade king, that means we were protected against east playing spades for the opponents to take some extra tricks. I mean, it, it was foolish to cash the spade king before playing a round of clubs, because we always have the ten of clubs entry back to dummy. But we took 10 tricks. I mean, that's not bad. Unfortunately, the Club King was singleton offside, so we could have picked up the suit. But I'm not a big fan of the three no trump bid uh, for a large number of reasons. I mean, for starters, North does not have a solid club suit. So I don't think it makes any sense to try three no trump when you don't really have a source of tricks. Like, if the opponents lead a heart, you really want to be able to claim nine tricks or have 
a good chance of making nine tricks opposite, say, a small doubleton club in partner's hand, or even a singleton club. And this is not the suit that provides that for you. Um, and additionally, I mean, the hand is so strong in terms of suit-oriented potential, two singletons, seven, four, and two suits, that you could easily be on for a slam. And here, I mean, six clubs is an excellent contract. It, it's basically cold. All we have to do is rough two diamonds in the dummy, discard a diamond on the Ice King of Spades. And then if the club finesse is working, we're actually making a grand slam. So in this scenario, we would have taken 12 tricks in clubs, but 1370 sure beats 630 any day. Um, yeah, I don't know what more to say about North's hand. I mean, so what, what were we supposed to do with North's cards? I would bid three hearts over the double. That would just show a general game force. And my plan then is to bid four clubs next, or if partner bid, so if partner bids, say, three spades over three hearts, then we get to bid four clubs to show a long, like, strong, single-suited hand with clubs. Uh, maybe we can find a diamond fit by partner backing into diamonds somehow in these auctions, but I think that's an important thing to do. It's tricky. The two-heart preempted take up a lot of room. So maybe an alternative to bidding three hearts is we just, for example, bid four clubs, or we try three diamonds, hoping that our partner works out we have extra values for these bids um, or extra length. But I like the concept of just getting my game force across with three hearts. So on to the next deal. Well, partner opens two hearts in first seat, and we should preempt to four hearts. I don't see any reason to fiddle around with something else. I mean, we could try and get a little clever on this hand by doing something like bidding two no trump um, as an artificial force. Maybe that would convince West not to bid his hand, but it doesn't really look like the opponents have a speed fit. It looks to us like they have a club fit, right? So if we bid two no trump, West will have an easy time overcalling three clubs. If we instead bid four hearts, West is going to have a pretty difficult time coming in with five clubs all on his own. So, oh well, you know, we did the best we could. West still had a takeout double. East bid five clubs. We're selling out. It's possible the opponents are not making this contract. We do have a king of diamonds. So no real reason to think that five hearts is going to be a good save either. It might be, but we've kind of made our bed when we bid four hearts. And we don't have a ton of extra distribution. Like with a club void, maybe we could think about trying five hearts at this point. But um, I'm going to lead the king of hearts. The reason I want to lead the king is that I want to remain on opening lead if necessary, so maybe I need to play a spade through the dummy, maybe I need to play a diamond, um, and this is just going to give us the most flexibility possible. I expect our partner to have the heart ace, or if not, he'll have the heart queen, so... Well, it looks like I probably don't need to lead a whole lot through the dummy, <laughs> seeing, seeing this. Um, <clears throat> so what am I thinking now? I am thinking that maybe the most practical thing to do is to continue a second round of hearts. Tapping the dummy. We don't know exactly what our partner's club holding is, but I mean, if partner has something like king fourth of clubs, then by tapping the dummy, we will prevent Declare from taking three club finesses through our partner, and hopefully he'll get a club trick. I don't see any real benefit in switching to spades. Hopefully our partner would have played a high heart spot if he had a spade void. Also, East might have been four spades with four card suit. So let's just go ahead and lead a low heart now. Tapping dummy. And we'll see what Declare ends up doing in the club suit. He takes a club to the 10. That does not look promising at the start. Three clubs. I'm just going to give spade count. Okay. 
it looks as if Declare has the rest. Looks like Declare has a very long club suit. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> looks like Declare has a very, very long club suit over there. What is that? Seven clubs to the East King Queen. A little surprising that East didn't um, overcall three clubs over two hearts. I mean, I, I think this is a prime hand to bid three clubs. It, it's a little light in high card points, but you have a solid seven card suit. If your partner bids three no trump, you're not unhappy. And if your partner tries anything else, I mean, I guess you bid four clubs and tell them to shut up. <laughs> but anyway, the opponents did well. I mean, they got to an okay spot, but they missed out on their slam. And we also did well, I mean, to cash our king of hearts at trick one, otherwise they have 13 tricks off the top, seven clubs, five spades, and the ace of diamonds. Of course the diamond king is on side, but they wouldn't need that. Okay, uh, probably not much to that one. I kind of expect the auction to go the same at most tables. I suppose we can take a quick look at what five hearts would do. Now maybe the opponents, if we bid five hearts, would get their act together and bid a slam. But even if they don't, it looks like we have three spade losers, a club loser, and two diamond losers. That's going to be minus 1100 already. Not a great score. So it's a good thing we didn't save over their game contract. All right, on to board 14, three boards to go. We have 15 highs, 16 highs, and four by one. I think I'm opening this a no trump. The a reason why I like opening these hands a no trump is that it just conveys our high card range. And so if partner has eight or nine high card points, they'll know to invite. If partner has less than eight, they'll know to sign off. If partner has 10 or more, they'll know to game force. Whereas if we open this hand a diamond and our partner bids, say, a no trump, I know that might be unlikely given what our hand looks like, then we don't know what to do over that bid. Um, if we bid two no trump, we would be showing 18 to 19, so our hand is a little too weak for that. And if we pass, our partner could have 10 or even 11 for his one no trump bid, and we could miss a game. So I'll open a no trump. You know, the worst thing that happens is partner transfers us to hearts and passes it out, but it looks like the opponents have kind of saved us a little bit from that fate. Take out double from west, and east bids three diamonds, okay? So... What do I want to lead? I mean, probably my singleton heart makes the most sense. It is the suit partner bid, and partner has a, a pretty weak hand over there, given the auction, which means if we're finding any high cards from our partner, it's likely to be in the heart suit. Uh, we also have the potential to get heart roughs. I'm not sure that we absolutely want heart roughs. Maybe we just have two natural diamond tricks, but Let's give it a shot. Okay, the king of hearts goes around to the ace, which is not great. So looking at the dummy, dummy has 13. I'm wondering if I should duck the spade or if I should put in the queen. I'm not convinced it's going to matter either way. But I suppose I should put in the queen just because maybe Declare was planning on cross-roughing the hand, and this will prevent him from effectively cross-roughing. Uh, so I'll put in the queen. Partner plays the eight. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a good reason to put in the queen. Uh, Declare has a singleton. Five of diamonds.
I guess I should win the ace and play a diamond to prevent all of the spade roughs and declare his hand. Okay. <laughs> Looks like I might not be very successful, but I suppose we'll see how the play transpires. Club to the queen. Okay, I, I think I should continue pulling trumps. I mean, I don't see any reason not to. We're still doing our best to prevent spade roughs and declares hand. And... I guess I'm supposed to rough this trick. It doesn't really cost. If I don't rough this trick, Declare just gets to pull my trump. So I'll rough. Cash the king of spades. See if partner has a club trick. He does. All right. Well, we have beaten the contract, which is probably good for our side. Had I opened the bidding, I would have opened a diamond, and we would not have found a fit anyway. Uh, but had I opened a diamond, the opponents would not have been playing in three diamonds, I don't think, either. So... Oh, it, it does look like we might have found a spade fit had I opened a diamond. I opened a diamond, the West probably shrugs and passes, our partner bids a heart, I will bid a spade, and our partner can raise to two spades. We might get a little overboard, though. The 4-1 spade split could get us in trouble, and I don't think I'm passing two spades. I would probably make some sort of game try. So I think we did well to go plus on the board overall. But on to board 15. Let's see how we're doing here. We have 13 high guard points with a singleton queen. I will open this a club. Partner gets a heart. I will get a spade. Two diamonds, artificial, game forcing, fourth suit. Um, so I could bid three clubs, which I think would kind of pattern out a little bit. Then partner will know I have long clubs. I think I should bid two no trump, though, to suggest that I have a diamond stopper. It's barely a diamond stopper, queen, ten, eight. But I don't want to put partner in a difficult situation where he has to decide, is three no trump a playable spot or not? Um, I, I still expect partner to do something over to no trump, like bid out his hand naturally, show a long heart suit, maybe show spade support, maybe show some small amount of club support. Okay, partner bids three hearts, and yeah, this is a tricky spot for us. I, I think this should be a six card suit, because I would always be bidding two hearts over two diamonds with three card support. I'm wondering if four hearts is a better spot than three no trump. So I'm thinking, should I raise three hearts to four? And my instinct is yes. Maybe it's not the most natural thing to do, maybe I should just bid three no, but singleton queen is a good singleton to hold, um, or is probably at least as good support as a small doubleton in many cases. And the fact that I'm just so heavily loaded in the major suits with high card points, it's likely to me that the opponents are going to be able to find some tricks in the minors in no trump. Now that doesn't mean that playing in four hearts is going to work out favorably for us either. I mean, partner could have three small diamonds over there and a singleton club, and we take we lose the first four tricks, the ace, king, jack, and diamonds, and the ace of clubs. Still, I think I'm a little happier trying four hearts. Um, yeah, and we'll just see how this goes. So let's see what partner's hand looks like. Aha! Well, uh, bad news, team. <laughs> bad news is that 
Four hearts has four losers off the top. And even worse news is that three no Trump is making. Yuck. That's not what we were hoping for. Oh, this is, this feels like we got gypped a little bit. I mean, if partner had shorter clubs or diamonds and longer spades, then this probably would have been the right spot. Or if the jack of clubs was not doubleton or singleton or whatever is going on over here. Hmm. Well, let's drop the queen of clubs at trick one. Um, maybe I can con West into not cashing the club ace. I mean, the jack of clubs can't have the queen with it, so this is a card I'm known to hold. Oh, looks like I didn't fool anyone. <laughs> That's too bad. Oh, okay. Now we have chances. This was not the right defense from our, from West. All right, well, I should definitely rough in with the Ten of Hearts. Uh, but then we have choices to make. So let's, let's first rough in with a high heart. Um, I'll rough in with the Ace just to conceal my heart holding as much as possible from the opponents. So our choices at this point are, we could play a heart to the queen, cash three rounds of spades, ditching diamonds from our hand, and play a fourth round of spades, planning to rough low. Then we could pull trumps and lose a diamond trick. Alternatively, we could play the king of hearts out of hand, hand being north. Pull three rounds of trumps. If the heart suit splits three, two, or, well, specifically 3-2, then we get to pull all the trumps, cash the ace-king, queen of spades, and then cash both of our clubs, well, the ten of clubs, ditching our diamond losers and make 11 tricks. But if trumps are 4-1, not only will we... Oh, you know what? The, I, was, I was going to say not only will we... Um, not have a trump loser, but then we will still lose a diamond. But that's not really true, is it? Because I can still cash three rounds of spades, ditching diamonds, and then cash the ten of clubs, ditching another diamond. Whoever has the fourth trump can rough in. So that does look like a better line of play. Yeah, okay. It, it looks like I make, as often as I do, when I choose the line of play of crossing to the heart queen and playing for potentially 4-1 trumps, um, but I also take extra tricks sometimes. So let's give this a shot. King of hearts, jack of hearts. Trumps were for um, for whatever it was, 4-1. That's okay though. because now we get to cash the ace of spades, we get to cash the ten of clubs, west has the remaining trumps, so that's okay. And then we get to cash the king of spades, and the queen of spades. And I'm, I miscounted the trumps the other day in one of these because I was <laughs> missing something, but okay, yeah, west did still have a trump remaining. So... Huh, that's... Well, I mean, good news and bad news. We got a plus score. That's nice. Bad news is that if East-West don't cash out their four tricks against no trump, then we have seven hearts and three spades off the top for 630. Okay, well, we'll see how that scores at the end. One board to play. Let's finish up our set. Partner opens a spade, and so I'm pretty sure that what we could do is bid three diamonds. Yeah, it looks invitational with six or more diamonds, but I'm going to game force this hand. We have excellent spade support, albeit not 
three card support, but Ace Doubleton. We have a really good seven card suit. I've seen the robots make these jump shifts to the three level on invites with just a balance nine count with a five card suit even. So that's if that hand is in their range, this hand really shouldn't be. So I'm going to game force this hand and hopefully we get to a good spot. The, the benefit of doing something like this is that both myself and my partner will be able to show our hands better in the auction. We'll be able to show our distribution, find whatever fits we have, explore for stoppers if we want to play in three no trump or maybe four spades. Um, the only downside is that my hand's a little light in terms of high card strength. So if we don't have a fit, then maybe we don't really have a game contract and we get a little overboard, but I think it's unlikely for that to be the case. I mean, the nightmare scenario is partner has a diamond void, so my hand is worth one trick and no trump, but I don't think that's likely. So I'll bid two diamonds, partner bids two hearts, I'll bid three diamonds, partner raises. That's interesting. <laughs> That's very interesting. Uh, I wonder if that really should show a singleton club. Well, I think no matter what my partner's trying to do, I want to bid four spades here. If partner thinks it's a cubid, that's fine. Oh, partner thinks it's three card spade support when I didn't bid two spades originally. Oh, maybe this isn't what I want to do. I'm just thinking that Four spades could be a better game contract than five diamonds. I mean, at match points, four spades could be better than five diamonds. Um, we might be able to pull three rounds of spades, uh, potentially pulling all the trumps, run the diamond suit, discard all partner's heart losers. <laughs> I think four spades should be a cubid, but I'm a little concerned that we're going to wind up in a 5-2 fit or that six diamonds is just going to be cold. I, I mean, I'm not concerned about winding up in a 5-2 fit, but I'm concerned about winding up in a 5-2 fit when um, it's not the correct spot. Hmm. Gee. I mean, if I wanted to be really aggressive, I could try four no trump. I mean, I, I don't really have the hand for it, but partner's four diamond bid can be unlimited. This is one of the problems with two over one auctions, which is why I like the four spade cubid. I'm telling partner I have some interest in slam. I don't have heart controls. Um, so if partner signs off in five diamonds over that, I'm pretty happy. Unfortunately, it looks like four spades is supposed to be natural. <laughs> that which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but I might bid it anyway. Hmm. It's a weird spot. It's a weird spot. I think I'm leaning towards four spades. But I could see anything from signing off to five diamonds. I mean, I could even see passing four diamonds being the winning bid, but I'm not going to do that. Um, but signing off in five diamonds could be right. Bidding key card could work out. I mean, if partner shows us three key cards, we're in great spot for potentially making a diamond slam. Mm. But match points is calling to me. I think that four spades has some potential to be a good spot in a 5-2 fit. So I think I should give this a shot. Like if five diamonds is taking 11, 11 tricks, that's 600, and four spades only takes 10, that's still 620. Hopefully partner doesn't pass. I, I mean, I think this should be a cubit and four diamonds. I'll say it again, beating a dead horse on this one, but you know, I thought it was possible partner would pass. Okay, well, good news and bad news. First of all, good news, five diamonds is not making. <clears throat> but bad news is that four spades might not be making. They could get a diamond rough. So it kind of looks like 
the correct choice was to pass four diamonds. I don't know if correct choice is the way to put it, but the winning choice on this deal was to pass four diamonds. Anyway, we're here now. Let's see what we can throw together. Hmm. You know, four spades can make. I would need to get very lucky. Wait, how lucky exactly? Hold on, because so I'm thinking if West has the queen jack of hearts, I can double hook the hearts using both the ace of spades and king of diamonds entry. I would need diamonds to be 2-2 two, two, so the opponents don't get a diamond rough. And somehow I would need to get back to my hand to pull trumps after roughing one of my heart losers. Knowing full well that the opponents um, could rough the fourth round of hearts. Yeah, that doesn't seem likely to me. Still, what, what are my other choices? Is there a safe way to play for down one in this contract? I could win the ace of spades and cash two rounds of hearts, rough a heart. I'll end up losing two clubs, a heart, and a diamond, at least. Maybe they get a diamond rough, maybe not. Maybe they have a spade trick coming, but they're always going to have a spade trick coming. That kind of looks like the most sensible line of play to me. I mean, also the queen jack of hearts could fall in three rounds. It, again, is not very likely, but that would set up the heart ten. Like, a, a very remote chance is that one of the opponents has a singleton ace of diamonds, but they both had the opportunity to lead that card if that was what was going on. So I could pull trumps, hope that they're 3-3, three, three, and then play a diamond, hoping that they take their ace. Uh, but if they don't, then my diamonds get stranded, I have no way back there, and I'm going to end up losing extra heart tricks. Okay, well... I mean, that's kind of an interesting spade switch now. East doesn't have a single spade honor that he could play on this. That's not great. <laughs> that does not look good to me, unfortunately. Huh. Well, let's win the Nine of Spades, and I think I should still go about this plan of roughing out the heart. We see the Jack from West. Oh my. This, that Jack of Hearts really makes me think that West is splitting from Queen Jack. Ooh. I think I am going to now cross in diamonds and take a heart finesse. Is that crazy? Maybe that's crazy. Okay, I'm going to give it a shot. Ace of diamonds from east. <laughs> of course West doesn't switch to a singleton. Why would he? That's fair enough. Aha! Spades are 5-1. Well, that's exciting. So what now? West has two spades remaining. I, I think I'm supposed to play another heart. I mean, it actually is looking like the queen jack of hearts might be doubleton. Okay, I'm going to put in the 10. What was this Jack of Hearts play? I'm so confused. <laughs> oh well, looks like we're three down in this contract. Not, not a great result. So uh, a failure for the 
two over one bit, but I still think I like my choice on the hand. And the five one spade split was not great for us, but at least we weren't doubled. You know, that's a positive that we can take away from this. Uh, had we gotten to five diamonds, we would just have been one down. Maybe. I mean, maybe the opponents can manage a spade rough in that contract, but we would have done better than minus 150. So a little unfortunate that our partner decided to pass our four spade bid, but also that um, four spades had such a terrible trump split. Oh no, I, I just killed the... Um, What's today, the 27th? Yeah, I just killed the results. So let's take a look and see how we did. 56% overall. Oh, hey, Roughing Finesse, how's it going? Uh, you're welcome. I'm happy to stream, uh, happy to share my insights with everyone, and I'm happy to chat with the viewers. So if you have any questions as we go along, please feel free to ask. So thanks for watching. Um, so what do we think about our final results? I mean, I'm a little, a little surprised that some of these boards played so badly for us, but ultimately we got some good scores. I mean, 100% on board 15 for bidding and making four hearts, and a few below average boards, but ultimately we'll be in the money, pick up another 50 cents or so, and we will be back, I think tomorrow, I should be streaming these regularly. So feel free to join in. Uh, tomorrow's Zenith Day Long, I think. I think they do it on Sunday. I'm pretty sure it's every day, but take care. I will see you later. Uh, you say board seven, a bunch of them bid game. Yeah, so we can kind of jump back to that board Maybe a little unlucky for us. I think it's more of an imp bid to bid game on this hand, but we caught a great hand from our partner with four trumps, and everything just split really well. Diamond ace on side, two two spades. Um, ace of clubs opposite our singleton was excellent. Uh, yeah, you would have invited to. I think either choice is reasonable, you know, the... I understand the incentive when you just have these big five fives to jump to game, so I think a lot of people do that, but um, it would have worked out this time. You know, maybe next time we'll be a bit more aggressive in our bidding, or maybe they'll have an imp event one of these days. Anyway, I'm going to head off. Thank you for watching and thanks for chatting. Always nice to get some feedback from the viewers. And I will see you later.